Okay, I'm going to do the same thing now with the uh, building sections. So let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can pull this off. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to just uh, maximize this. I'm going to do these building sections my own way. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Anybody know that band? Anybody? I'm going to have to ask Aaron Dwinell over in the other studio. He'll know that one. Okay. Uh, so here's my section. I got stairs in there. I, with this section, I think I'm going to not use any of this, this uh, crazy text. I'm just going to say goodbye. Uh, I don't need these. Uh, I'm, if I do use these, I'm going to use those as a copy uh, from the other. I don't want to hit the. Don't want to delete my site. Stay site. But I like you. Um, so that can go away. All of this other stuff that's in the model too, I can probably start getting rid of. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is um, uh, make the the length of this section cut a little shorter. So I'm going to go back to the plan, and I'm going to click on this, and I am going to do a um, let's see, not model display, a horizontal range. We'll do that limited. hit OK. So now I've got this little guy right here, this line that shows up that tells me how far I'm going to see in that section. So I'm going to go right to the other side of the building. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go right to there. And then I can open that section. And that kind of gets rid of that stuff. So now I'm going to uh, right click on this guy. Uh, section settings and drawing and select all the fills not all the guys name fill you just select you know the fill tool that's not a PHIL tool it can't you know help you with deep personal problems or anything Dr. Phil and no okay uh, I'm gonna go to uh, I gotta get rid of these hot spots I'm gonna go more I'll click that control A get rid of those and here's my section. So what I want to do is just create a basic outline and uh, fill in a few details. That's all we're going to do with uh, the building section. So I want to uh, get rid of these lines here. I also want to hide this grid. It's really annoying me. Uh, view, grid, display. Do that. Um, get rid of these. And down here, I got some cleanup to do. I'm just going to delete some of this junk down here. Um, I can trim that line right there, as I can trim that line. Uh, this line really shouldn't be doing what it's doing. It's a bad, bad line. I'm going to do that. Should always have the grade sloping away from a house for obvious water related uh, reasons. Um, get rid of that line. So I'm just kind of cleaning it up because there's just residual garbage that comes in with the model. Um, these lines that are inside, I probably want to make those. those two lines. I probably want to make those a 93 because they're interior lines. And this one I can extend out. I don't know why that didn't come in as a 93. Draw it that way. Um, and that's kind of it. Uh, we also want to now just start to add some details. So uh, we'll have footings to do and uh, we'll have concrete as a fill that we'll want to put in. So a footing I can do, I'm going to do this that also with a polyline and we're going to do a, a box and we'll do a footing that is a, um, a 20 inch wide by 12 inches deep. Actually, that 20 inches seems a little shallow. 
let's go 24 inch. And we'll do that. We'll keep that as a 93. And then I'm going to drag a copy of that over to here, but that needs to go below the slab. Drag another copy of that over to here and drag another copy right on over to here. Here I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to do this line as a, a 93 because we're technically not cutting it. I'm also going to do these as 93. Pull this down. And that's kind of the relationship we should have, like this, where we have footing, foundation wall, slab, interior wall. I'm going to do that on the other side, but I'm going to do it the super easy way. Why did that have to be sun? That's just not a, that's something people sing. Why am I talking to myself? Okay, we're in. There it is. There's our section. I need to do a little bit of a 100 line right there where it's cut. Um, and I need to make these a 93. A little bit of 100 right there. And then I'm going to do some fill work. I'm going to go to the fill and I'm going to go to Concrete. That's how they say it in nowhere. That's not how they say it anywhere. Uh, I'm going to do structural concrete right there. And put it where there's concrete. Drop it like it's concrete. Oh, I missed a couple lines here, didn't I? There it is. I'm going to add a few lines. Make sure I get these floor relationships right. Um, actually, the, the sheathing is going to come in half an inch. Go up. So I can do little lines like that. Oops. And that's only going to go to the outside like that. The flooring is three quarters of an inch. Like that. And it runs all the way across. And then I can trim it at the stairs. And so on. So I, I would go about this far. If you want to start doing studs, you can as well. Um, uh, I usually do those as a polyline. They're an inch and a half, right? Everybody, inch and a half. There's one at the bottom of the wall, two at the top of the wall, like that. That might be about as far as I go with the walls. And you can do that all the way around if you want to. Uh, but the the only thing I'm really requiring you to do, I'll give you a little extra bonus for this stuff, but um, the only thing I'm really requiring you to do is to make sure you get a good clean uh, outline of the whole site and uh, clearly denote what the uh, foundation is. Uh, and then what we want to do, the last thing we want to do is we want to do a couple of notes for the stairs. It's pretty simple. First you want to do a dimension string that goes across the stair like this. I want to make sure that this gets its witness line. Uh, must have picked that up from somewhere else. What happened to you, Dimension? Why did you do this to me? There we go. So we'll do that. And then we'll do a floor-to-floor -floor Dimension. 
Snap it. Snap it. Like that. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to put in the number of, and I actually think that, that lower level stair is different in terms of width, isn't it? So I needed to get the width of that lower level, level stair as well. So we'll do just three dimensions like that. That's it. And then what we'll do is we'll come up here and do a text box. Click, click. And this is 13 foot 4, so that would be... Uh, somebody do some math. That would be 14. 14 or 15? 15, 15 treads. 15 T at... 10 inches. Did I do it right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my gosh, and I went to college. For shame. 16. Is that right? 16 times 10 divided by 12. Yep. Um, and then you always say, I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate a copy of it and put it over here. And this one I'm going to change. So this one's going to be one more. There's always one more riser than there are treads. It's just a law of the universe. Deal with it. And that's going to be at seven and a half inches. Um, and then I always do plus or minus. So treads are always weird, right? They're always going to be some wacko dimension that we don't want anybody to determine. But the, the the riser height, the tread depth, will always be set. So we're going to come down here and do this. This is um, 15, right? Yes. And that's all we need to do. There's your building section. So do, um, let me get rid of those lines. Do uh, the two building sections like this. The other building section will have all the notes. Uh, I'm actually going to do that really quickly. Uh, where are my sections? Uh, do it this way. I'm going to take all of this good jazz here. section. Move it over there just so I have it in both. Uh, and that's it. That's all I'll, I'll have you do for, for sections, elevations, plans. Uh, and then uh, we will, let's, let's do that for Monday. Let's get all that stuff done for Monday. And then on uh, Monday or on the rest of the week, we'll do lighting plans. I'll show you how to sort of start to do a little bit of an electrical lighting plan. Happy weekend. See you guys.